So my name is Siobhan Evans. I'm the Director of Programs and Movement Support at the Food and Farm Communications Fund. And we've partnered with Social Movement Technologies um, for a couple of years now. We'll be going into, I think, our third session with them this upcoming year. Um, and it's just been a really powerful opportunity for our grantees each year to be able to receive both one-on-one -on -one coaching, as Kevin was speaking of earlier, um, as well as going through some of the training programs uh, and the certificate program and intensives. Um, what's been really powerful for us is just that um, folks have really gotten a lot out of these trainings. They've approached me um, to let me know, you know, that a really incredible and powerful time going through these trainings. They've been able to think more about some of the needs that they have for their own communications. Some of them have said that they've come into the trainings or to the one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, kind of thinking that they wanted to do certain things with their communications work, and then realizing that they actually had some needs in some different areas that maybe were getting to more of the root causes of some of the issues that they were facing. So it just seems like it's been a really powerful kind of individualized um, training and coaching sessions that folks have been able to go through. Um, and then what's really helpful for me as the funder is in many ways, I can like stay as connected as I'd like to, to the coaching and the training sessions that folks are going through and get updates um, as needed from Kevin and the team. But then um, also I can essentially pass off, um, you know, that, that work to the SMT trainers and, you know, feel um, that they are able to take it and to work um, directly with the grantees. And there's a lot of trust that's there for them to be able to hold that space with the grantees um, year after year. So it's been really good just to be able to, to feel that that work is really being held um, and that the grantees are in good hands. Um, and then just a couple last things that I'll mention, this has also really helped us um, to like have partnerships with other funders. So in one of the last grantee rounds, um, we offered the trainings to our grantees um, and did that in partnership with another funder who had um, an overlap with our grantees. So they also had a similar um, group of grantees to ours. So we were able to partner together and offer trainings to to a large number of our grantees um, together, like working funder with funder. Um, so there's a lot of like flexibility for how those partnerships can happen as well. Um, so really, I can't speak highly enough about the, the trainings that our grantees have gone through. They again have approached me to let me know how wonderful it's been. They've given us great feedback via surveys. Uh, and it's something that we really see as continuing to be a partnership in future years.